Hello, welcome to another Trinity teaching. This is lesson 2.7. Um, pentacles and pentagrams. Okay, first off, you're probably like, what's the difference? Well, if you don't know, there is a difference, surprisingly. Okay, first off, a pentacle is a pentagram with a circle around it. Usually a pentacle is the most common thing most witches wear in jewelry when it comes to jewelry. Pentagram is, well, just this, with no circle around it. This is my pentagram I use for my, um, uh, altar. And, um, this is the front, I might add. The back, actually, I kind of, it's my hand, my cheat sheet. Um, because I forget which point goes which symbol in that. So, I did this. With black marker, I drew the symbol of spirit up here. Um, with yellow, I drew air's triangle over here. Water's triangle, I drew over here with blue. Red for fire, triangle down here. And earth, I grew is the dream triangle. It's not a cheat sheet, but it works. Um, Pentacle is usually what most Wiccans and witches wear. It's a good way to use to identify one another. This one actually um, was given to me by a roommate. He um, bought two, one for himself and one for me. Um, it's got actually got a goddess symbol up there with the red, like, red figure stones. It's made of steel, I do believe. Um, it represents Earth for the altar. Um, it also represents Earth in the tarot. Um, it's known as pentacles, but it's also can be changed to coins and usually several different things. Um, let's see here. Um, it is used for many different things, um, invoking and banishing. Um, depending on actually how you draw it, you can invoke the different elements and banish the different elements. Um, also, depending on what it's made of or how it's created, um, jewelry right, it can mean different things. For example, see, it was made of silver, it represents the goddess, gold, it represents the god. Uh, copper, it's used for drawing energy. If it's multicolored, usually each of the points for different jewel, or just multicolored in general, which meant for the elements. Same thing with inset with different stones, it means for the elements. Um, let's see, when it has certain stones on it, for example, if it has an amethyst in the center, it's meant for, it represents spirit, for healing and protection. Um, for onyx is in the center, it's meant for protection also. Um, if it's hematite, it's for grounding. Um, moonstone also represents the goddess, and sometimes they're set when in the center there's a picture of an animal, or a god or goddess, and thus represents a said god or goddess or animal. Um, let's see here. Um, I can talk about the different invoking and vanishing, let's see. Well, when it comes to air, let's see. Starting here, if you start drawing it here, you're be invoking. And if you start drawing from this point, it'll be banishing. Um, for fire, if you start from here, be invoking. And if you start from here, be de um, banishing. For water, if you start from here, it'd be invoking. And if you start from here, be banishing. Um, for earth, if you start from here, it would be invoking, and for banishing, it would be start. Ooh, starting from here. Careful, I don't want to get a splinter. <laughs> um, for spirit, here would be invoking. Start if you start, and here would be banishing if you start. Um, I actually never had to do any of that, but eventually you might have to. You never know. It depends on the certain types of spells you're doing. Um, when it says for an uh, altar, a pentacle is usually what they say, but I mean, I use this as for my altar, as a pentagram, but it works. It represents the earth in that. Um, this I wear, I don't wear it as much as I should. I mean, I use it a lot, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm trying to find the perfect chain for it still, eventually I will. Um, it's the only one I got. I mean, eventually I want to get a different one actually made of silver, number one. And I want to get one that's not as big. Um, I mean, I like this one, I admit. It's the only one that I've got, and it's the first one given to me, so I have to admit, I like it. Um, Wiccans can wear the pentacle or pentagram on them in any way. I mean, I have some, well, I had a set of earrings. Which I only have one ear pierced, so um, when one of my pentagram earrings broke, I would just wear the one. Not that um, only one there exists, it's kind of, they got kind of dumb wearing them, but anyway. Um... You can wear my earrings, um, bracelets, necklaces, rings. I used to have a ring, but I lost it a long time ago. Almost kind of like a couple years ago. But anyway, um, I had it before this. But anyway, 
So you can wear it in different ways. I kind of like the necklace more than I do the ring. Granted, I mean, some like to wear it under their clothes, not to show it off. Some like to wear it out. I like to wear mine out a lot, um, just because I like to put it out there. I know some don't like that, but that's just the way I like it. So, um, let's see what else. You don't have to have a pentacle or a pentagram, whatever, jewelry. I mean, a lot do, but it's up to you if you want to have one if, or not. Um, and it's up to you how you want to wear it. If you want to wear it under your shirt or whatever, how a lot of people wear it, um, it's up to you. But anyway, um, well, that's my video on pentagrams and pentacles. Uh, pentacles and pentagrams, whichever way I wrote it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Questions, comments, things like that, go down in the comments bar, please. Um, so until next time, thank you for watching, keep learning, keep reading, and ta-ta!